just south of Lubbock by about 40 miles. And V2 is deploying on this cell right here. Early day. Another early start for us. Probably won't get as lucky as we did yesterday, but we'll cross our fingers. Here's the current setup. You can see the cold front has sagged south, and we have a few uh, different cells here. We are down to the southwest cell, um, just south of Lubbock. And hoping to get lucky, look, there's some concavity on this northern cell and maybe the southern cell as well. Um, anything that happens today would be an early show before this probably lines out. But then again, it hasn't lined out the last couple days like we thought it would. So, the storm south of here put out a huge amount of outflow. So, the area of concavity down there is gone. And it's still sending out outflow, it's just surging way ahead. Pretty impressive. So the only area of interest that I can see right now is right back there. But nothing interesting looks to be going on right now. So here's our storm. Yeah, there's the big old burp of outflow it put out to the southwest. Still doing it. Um, that gives me an area of interest back up through here. That would keep my eye on. All right, that's good news. You hear no XP? What do you say? It is surging outflow right here. It's got all sorts of little swirls in it, the radar, and then it's wrapping into this mezzo, which is right in front of us. Developing mezzo, working towards the ground, he said. There's a bowl right here. We might have to go to the northeast, actually. Serious outflow right here. Wow, that's some serious outflow. But this is a really good spot for right now. Yeah, we can hang in here. Dust on the ground. Dust on the ground. Right behind that irrigation equipment. Swirling. Swirling dust on the ground. Do you see it, Howie? Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Right there. Oh, there, yeah. Yep. And there's one over there. Yep. That one's like got a whole tube on it. Yeah, this one has a, almost like a big tube. There's two of them. You can see both of them. That's beautiful. Oh, there's oh, look at two that. of them. They're gorgeous. That's awesome. So, were those tornadoes? Well, an RFD just wrapped around this. Three of them, Howie. Three. One, two, three. With the tightest one being right in front of us. Yeah, it is. Look at that, just coming in and around. Woo hoo hoo! That's no Gus NATO. That's impressive.
two of them. Wow. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you get good video? Yeah. Zoom right in? Yeah. It's still going. This one over here is still going. I tell you. Let's just move. Oh boy. Can't drive we're in that outflow here. We're going to have to just either take this or go back and go northeast. I think we're going to have to go back and go northeast. We're about to get clobbered here. Yeah. We can't drive into that, so. Down five, down seven. Down five. I'll be getting an open mic, I think, for a while. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got it. Beautiful Gus Nato. 243, we have another small Gus Nato and a couple of them off to the, off to the uh, northeast. No. We're going to look for a pullout on the right side. Okay, Roger. Blowing dust. Uh, windshield wipers don't help you here. Nope. Lots of blowing dust. In a dust storm. Well, when you get to 84, you better go southeast of 84 and get back to where everyone else is. Uh, I didn't get much choice there. This dust is insane. Yeah, go ahead. Woohoo! That was intense. I guess, yeah. So that was a wild ride, 325. Just saw two uh, land spout tornadoes right next to each other and a bunch of gust tornadoes and a lot of really intense blowing dust. Um, all came out of, I believe it was this storm right here and a whole bunch of outflow out ahead of it now. And we are gonna move back west in hopes that the outflow won't, uh, it's probably kicking these storms off and maybe we'll have some moisture return or something, I don't know. Just hoping that on the outside chance we can get a, get a supercell back here. Flash flooding conditions in the Texas Panhandle after our chase. Very intense precinct. And not a very good drainage system at all. It's so flat. Okay, copy. Thank you, Doug. I'm just happy I got a truck in front of me to sample all the water. Thank you. 